Hey guys, this is Metso, and today I wanted to show off a TNT duping flying machine that does not use coral fans. So I'll show you both how to build the basic TNT duping module that you can use as part of other flying machines, and I'll show you how to modify that module so that it can fly on its own. So let's get started. So here's the basic TNT duplicating module that we'll be using. Essentially, this will duplicate one piece of TNT each time it is moved forward. As you can see here, if I push the entire thing forward, it duplicates a piece of TNT. However, then the entire module resets itself one block forward. So now if we do it again, it's still able to duplicate TNT. Now this was based on this design by Iceberg Lettuce. I'll throw a link to his video in the description. This will duplicate a piece of TNT each time this observer is updated. However, this version is not movable as it uses redstone dust to update this piston. So it's definitely a good design if you don't need it to be moved. However, the way that we get around and make it movable is we actually move that piston one block up and place the note block directly next to where the minecart detector rail will be moved. That way, as soon as this rail gets pushed forward, it actually directly updates the note block and pushes the piston forward. Additionally, this design uses powering this block to both push the rail and push this piston down to update this observer in the same tick. We now just use this single piston to handle all of that, because as you can see, when this part of the module gets pushed forward and this piston fires, it both pushes the rail, which will push all of these blocks and move this column of slime blocks out of the way of this observer. So that way, when this rail gets pushed, this observer gets updated in the same tick as well. And that's what allows us to actually duplicate the TNT each time it's pushed forward. So now that we have seen the basic module of this, I'm now going to cover the self-contained flying machine version if you don't have a separate engine that you'll be hooking this up to. For the self-contained flying machine version of this TNT duper, we essentially add this extra row of blocks in the side. So what it does is when this front section is moved forward, this sticky piston will trigger. It will pull this intermediate section of blocks one block forward, and that will trigger this sticky piston, which will then pull the back section of the flying machine one block forward and restart the whole process. So the reason that we need this extra intermediate bit here is to add a bit of delay, since each time this piston pushes the minecart forward, we have to wait for this observer to power this piston to push it back, otherwise the rail would end up right on top of the TNT. So by adding this extra bit on the side, we actually have enough delay, so that way this piston is able to push it back and it resets the whole thing before it all moves forward again. So to send it off, we can simply power this piston, and now you can see that each time it moves forward, it will duplicate a piece of TNT. And now I'll show you how to actually build it. So here's a list of the resources you'll need. For just the base module that duplicates TNT each time it's pushed, you need six slime blocks, three honey blocks, a piece of TNT, a detector rail, a minecart, three regular pistons, three observers, a note block, a solid block. So this needs to be solid so that the detector rail can actually power the TNT through this block. And then you'll just need two more of any blocks that can be pushed by pistons. So they can be solid blocks as well, but they don't have to be. Then if you want to make it the self-contained flying machine version that can move on its own, you'll need four more slime blocks, two more sticky pistons, and two observers. So now to go over how to build this, you'll start off by placing two slime blocks in the back with two on the side like that. You will place a regular piston with an observer pointing into it. You will then place your note block and another piston here with your solid block next to it and place your detector rail in the front, and this is where you'll place your minecart. Now you need to go out the front and have a normal piston facing here with an observer pointing into it like that. And now you'll need to place any block here, two slime blocks down at the other block here. Then you need an observer looking into that block with honey block behind it and TNT behind that. And then you just place two more honey blocks on the side here, and this will allow this piston to actually push the whole module forward. So now, if you grab a redstone block, every time you move this whole module forward like this, this will duplicate a piece of TNT. So you can repeatedly do that. Finally, to actually make it a self contained flying machine, you simply need to grab sticky pistons. You will go out one slime block here with an observer pointing into the side so that it can power this sticky piston. You will then go two more slime blocks with a sticky piston here and an observer to power that one. 
and then you just place one slime block here so that the sticky piston can actually grab the back module. And now, if you just power this piston, this will send off the flying machine and dupe TNT each time it moves. And that's it. That's how you can build a TNT duping flying machine that does not use coral fans. Hopefully some of you found this useful, or at the very least novel. As of the time I was recording this video, I was not able to find any other designs for TNT duping flying machines that did not use coral. So if any of you are aware of any designs like that, please let me know in the comments. I would definitely like to check them out. And again, big thank you to Iceberg Lettuce, whose design for a static TNT duper without coral fans was definitely the big inspiration that allowed me to get started and eventually figure this design out. So thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.